My name is Tyler Mormon. I played at Detroit City FC from 2016 to 2018 as a forward. When I was at Detroit Mercy for college, we had a couple guys who played for Detroit City FC, and that was when I first heard of DCFC. And then from there, just heard about Aztec, heard about some of the games, and then had the opportunity when I think it was Ben Pierman uh, sent me a DM and said, hey, we'd like you to come try out for the team uh, in my junior year. Seeing the craziness at Kaztec was like, man, I want to play for them. It was, it was a no-brainer and, and a good opportunity, too, to play for a team here in Detroit with a lot of guys that I played with in college, um, but also it was cool, too, to play against a lot of guys I was playing against in college, guys from Oakland, other universities around the area, so it was, it was enticing. There were so many guys that all for their university were the top players, almost every single one of them. And then unlike college where you've got a four year window, you know, Sevi and Dave at that time were out of college for a number of years, were very skilled in their position. And I think for me too, being a junior in college and some of these guys that had been at this level for a number of years, I was looking to make the team. Uh, and that's kind of how my career went, was joining the team, initially being a bench guy, sometimes not traveling, to slowly getting more and more minutes. That's really what my goal was, was just to make the team in that first trial. You know, we believed we had a good team in 2016. I just don't know if the standard was there. Our first year, I thought we had a solid core group of guys, but then we built on it. And then our second year too, just had a lot of things clicking. Mormon. Once again, Mormon sends it towards the back post, looking for Sean Lawson. Vicky Goodman settles it down. Mundy with the right foot, it's in the back of the net. Tyrone Mundy. I remember Ben saying, hey, you're gonna put in some minutes this game, you're gonna have an opportunity to make a, you know, an impact on the game. And that late in the game, 90th minute, you're thinking just get the ball in the box, give somebody a chance, you know, put numbers forward. And that was, that was awesome. It was a high level of play. And then I remember that summer seeing, you know, all the guys that were on the team go back to their respective uh, colleges and just crushing it after that. Just hearing from the owners, like, hey guys, this summer we're gonna make this jump or this adjustment. Um, but also too, just from the fan side of it, what the fans wanted. I mean, from 2016 when I started to 2018, I mean, the fan attendance numbers went up. It just got more and more exciting each time. From them remembering our names to you know just having different signs that had our names and numbers on them. I think that's what brought guys closer and closer together, was having these moments where it's like, we're building something here, we're building something that's making this club have a bigger name each and every game that we played. comes Mormon into the box, Mormon shot! It's loose, Atkins steps into it, crosses and misses the post. Mormon settles it down. Mormon shot! Yeah, that's, that's probably for me one of the most exciting goals of my career. I mean, I remember it was late in the game. Again, legs were tired. I remember being on the bench watching the game. I remember being like, I hope I get put in so bad because I just could see guys were exhausted. I remember Dave and I think a couple other guys were open. I was like, screw this. I was like, I'm going for it. I'm just going to try and do a little one-two around the sky and shoot it. And uh, yeah, the old left foot went right up into the corner, but I, I just, the second I got that ball, I was like, I'm gonna just try and score. Whatever it is here, just put it in the net. It is such a cool feeling seeing the smoke late in the game at Key Worth. Even other, you know, high level professional games that are overseas or even MLS stadiums, Key Worth's feel late at night with the smoke and just the chance, it is like nothing else. It is, it is so much fun. Looking back on just my time, the, the things that stand out the most were after the victories, you know, having Ben come in, guys are all in there just celebrating, having a fun time, um, celebrating with the fans after the game. I mean, those were the things that I remember the most about playing was the game, it goes so fast and you're so in the moment that it's hard to remember everything, but the second the game's done and you win and you know you get to go celebrate with the fans, celebrate with the guys in the locker room, um, that was by far the most fun playing on the team back then. My last season on the team there, that was the positives I took away was the club's transition at that point. There was a lot of different talks going on about the future of the club and it was exciting for us because it's like, wow, like, okay, if we go up the next level here, if we continue moving up, those of us that wanted to continue to play, we have an opportunity now to take it to the next level ourselves. So there's a lot of transition, a lot of, you know, things change for the club, things change for us, but the core of us, we all knew like, hey, th this club is bigger than all of us. This club club itself is is going to continue on and continue to grow whether we're here or not um, which was exciting to, to at least the years that we all had it was exciting to be a part of it regardless of how long it was